Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to our new My Garage Time. Yeah, so look, y'all see it? I'm finally done. 69 Boss 302 Mustang. Finally done with it. I had some issues. I had to get a replacement kit for uh, the driver's side decal. Man, it's tough doing the decals for this car. Uh, also, the ones that go on the hood, the hood decals are four different pieces because they have small decals that go here and here and on the edge of the hood. Uh, this grill comes in three different pieces. You have the bumper, you have the middle piece that sits off in here, and you have the actual um, grill itself. Uh, the headlights have chrome bezels that sits off in the uh, headlight housing. They just snap off in there and you put the lens on top of it. Well, I had to glue them in there, but then you put the lens on top of it. That's for all four lights. Now, an issue that I seen uh, that I noticed not too long ago is that underneath here, there's two lights that I put in here. And you can't see it because of the bumper, for whatever reason, is covering it up. I guess I don't have it up high enough, but it's covering up to where you can't, you can't see them. And also, you, you won't be able to see the ones here on the side, uh, their decals. Uh, the ones here, actually, I cut off the chrome tree and set them in there, and it, and it has the um, it has the um, texture as a light uh, down there. So I may try to fix that later on down the line. Then again, I might just leave it as is. Uh, I had an issue with the hood fitting properly after I had already test fit. I don't know if I just said that or not, but yeah. So uh, I had issues with the decals with the, uh, for the interior for the uh, dashboard. Uh, once I set them on there, I got ready to press them down. Uh, I, and I know I had them on there straight, but I got to press down on it and something parts of it is like it's nothing underneath to support it. So they have a few little wrinkles in it. Um, this part, uh, the, let's go back to the wheels. So the wheels, uh, I did with the Tamiya accent paint. I just put a couple drops in, let it dry, let it sit 45 minutes, let it dry, and I went along with another uh, couple of drips, and I just let it dry. I did a Melitol pin around the windshield, uh, the windshield wipers, the doors. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't too heavy with it here. The door handles have chrome, uh, the silver sharpie marker. Uh, these here, I didn't. I just, I just, I didn't glue this on. I just, uh, I just, it could, because it sits in place. So I figure if I'm not moving it too much, it's just to stay in place. The hood, uh, the spoiler and the trunk was, uh, all did with, um, with the Rust-Oleum flat black. This spoiler is on backwards. The legs are on right. The spoiler, the spoiler just turned backwards. Uh, when I noticed it, I just, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even mess with it. The tail lights, uh, they're hard to see because it's supposed to be chrome in between, like on the uh, box art. And I didn't notice that either until I had already, uh, see that has chrome in between, in between it. I didn't notice that until after I had already put it together, so it's cool. This is my first time doing a uh, kit outside of General Motors, so. Uh, this come off the chrome tree. It just you glue that in there. Uh, this Mustang here was already uh, molded into the body, but it all, but it had a silver decal to go over it. The tailpipe tips I did with the uh, chrome melatonin marker, and I also have a piece here. I think these are supposed to act as reverse lights uh, here, and it was here. One of them came out. I got to figure out what happened to it. Uh, what got to figure out where it's at. Um, let me plug this in right quick. Okay. Um, I have my garage time plate. I didn't really have no more trouble out of the body after I painted it for the last time. Like I said, I had trouble with the grill fitting and also the hood. I broke a hood hinge. Broke it off, trying to make it fit, but that's okay. Let me uh, take the hood off and show you guys this engine. 
There's the engine. I tried to make it look exactly like the box art, much as I could. Let's see. There's the box art. There's my engine. It's okay. Came out all right. And let me show you guys the bottom part. So here's the bottom of the box art. And here's the bottom of mine. Only difference is my bottom, the bottom here is black, and the one on there is brown. Yeah, so in the end, let me see if I can show y'all a little bit of the interior. So dark, you can't see it. There's the console, the steering wheel. There's a little bit of the dash you can see. Anyway, yeah, let me put this in 360 right quick so I could uh, show you guys the rest. All right, y'all. So look, I've been seeing people. Uh, I've been I've been checking out y'all videos. Man, y'all do a good job on y'all videos. I, I mean, I enjoy looking at all the videos, but I also see everybody doing shop cards. I, I don't y'all. I haven't been doing this as long. Y'all know that, but I want to know more about the shop cards. Uh, what's the purpose of them? You know, they look cool. I would like to make me some, but I don't know the purpose of them. Is it just to Send the people, y'all let me know. Comment below and let me know. Um, um, also, this uh, part here, uh, with this making it like it's a two lane road, I got the idea from Craig Corner. Uh, Craig with a K, Corner with a K. Uh, I'm gonna put his link in the description. Y'all check it out, check out his channel because he, he do real good work too. Uh, also, uh, HPI guys, I think that is HPI guys. Uh, that guy, he, he do a uh, real work, uh, good work as well. Uh, and if you're into, um, if you're in the low riders, uh, check out Model Car 1589 Leon over at uh, Model Car 1589. I think that's what it is. I'll put his link in the description as well. If you're in the low ride, he do a lot of low riders, he do a lot of group bids as well. So, uh, he do good work too. Um, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank y'all. Uh, all my current subscribers. I appreciate the comments. Oh, look, shout out to one of my new subscribers. Uh, I think his name is Angel. A little guy I met over in a Hobby Lobby the other day. Um, he uh, getting into building. Uh, I think he told me he done two kits already. So he was over there looking at the kit and I was talking to him. Uh, so he subscribed to my channel. I also told him to check out, uh, you know, other channels as well. You know, that way he can learn stuff. That's how I did. I, uh, I, uh, I had someone I was communicating with, Angelo, over at Angelo's uh, workbench. Uh, I put him in the description as well, so y'all can check out his stuff too. Uh, and I think, I think, um, let's see, who else? I know I'm missing some. People. I know I'm missing some people, but. I wanted to uh, give a shout out to somebody else. I don't forgot who it was, but yeah. So let's hope that uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Angel, he you know gets into it and makes him a YouTube channel, and we'll welcome him to the uh, to the uh, model scale uh, community. Uh, I like it, man. I go to bed thinking about this stuff. I wake up thinking about it. I'm always thinking about new stuff I can do, new colors I can use. Uh, different stuff to be creative you know i think the main the two main things about this is is, is is that building to make them look stock and add your own twist to them you know i, I like those are two things i like the most you know make them look realistic you know i, I like that um but yeah so y'all that's it and that's all i'm gonna let y'all go i'm gonna close this out Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Mustang, how I did. 
Uh, I don't think it looked too bad. I like it. I, I'm not going to no competition or nothing, so. You know, it is what it is. All right, y'all, so that's it. That's all. I'm gone.